Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Te Amo by Han Ostavik, which was recently translated to English from the Norwegian by Martin Aitken. This is, as you can see, a very short piece of fiction in which we follow the thoughts and reflections of this woman who's coming into terms with the fact that her, ha that her husband is going to die from cancer very, very soon. It's a book that is written as a book that our narrator and main character is kindly written. So despite of the different thoughts and reflections on grief that it talks about and that it focuses on for the most part, it also talks about writing and writing as a form of helping yourself understand what's going on in your own life. This is a book that, as you can probably guess by the premise, is extremely sad. I, in fact, was crying almost from the very, from the very first page. And it's a book that you cannot help but empathize with the main character of scenes. The situation she, she's seen is one that she had never expected would happen, but is something that is now going on and he has to live with. This is a book that shows the most horrible and awful parts about cancer, since you can see how her husband is always in pain and how she can do nothing to help him relieve that pain, and that the only thing she can do for him is to love him and to stay with him. It's also a book about mist chances and chances they ha could have taken together but haven't and that they now regret because of the situation they are in and it's also a book that of course talks about relationships and about relationships ending sooner than expected because of something unexpected such as this illness. It is overall a book that when you pick it up you know it's going to be sad and you know that you are going to may not have the best time reading when it comes to the themes discussed and it's a book that I think from what I can say from having read a translation has very beautiful writing that really helps make something beautiful of a horrible situation such as the one our main character and her husband and her husband have found themselves in. It's also a book that plays with time, which is something very interesting in it. At the same time, as our narrator is talking about what's going on in her life at the moment, so how he's trying to cope with her husband's death, how her husband is doing, and what are they doing in their last days together, basically. She's also speaking about the past, speaking about all the times they went together, traveled together, and he's shown signs of this Ill illness that was at the very beginning ignored by doctors, so it's also a book that talks about health and the health system in general. It's also, of course, as you can expect by the title, which is in Italian, a book that talks about traveling, about finding yourself in a strange place, which is also at the same time interesting when you think about the fact that the same strange place that can be a foreign land is also a situation like the one our main characters have found themselves in. One of the last things I have to say about this book, since this is a very short piece of fiction and there is not much one can say without giving away any spoilers, this is a book that doesn't really have any chapters, which makes the easy reading experience more realistic in a way, since it's almost like reading a diary and like reading a manuscript, like our main character is doing where she is writing the book that is supposed to be the book we are reading, kind of. It's also something that some people may struggle with, since I know some people really like these chapters, but it's something that also makes the book feel more realistic, as I just explained. So yeah, Te Amo, an amazing book. I, highly, I would highly recommend you read it if it intrigues you. I would highly re recommend you read it if you are interested in reading about books that deal with illness and with grief before death actually, actually happens. It's an incredibly sad book, I, so I would also advise you check out 
if with yourself if you are ready to read it before you do so since it discusses some heavy topics such as illness and death but overall it's a fantastic read it's one that I wish would have been nominated for the International Booker Prize but that is an entirely different conversation but yeah, te amo I ended up giving it 4 stars I highly recommend it and if you have read it tell me down below like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me comment down below if you read Te Amo and what were your thoughts on it and I hope you're looking amazing and I will see you in my next video bye